and merry after Christmas and happy right before New Year. Yep, this is the 29th of December 2018. And we're going, this is Stephen Detweiler, uh, Light in the Darkness, uh, multimedia broadcast. This is the podcast. Um, and that's the name I, I, I'm going with. It's, it's the name the Lord gave me for the YouTube. And those of you on YouTube, you're going to see that anyway. Praise God. But that's what we're here to do is we're here to bring the light of the word of God into the darkness of this ever-present evil world. And when we bring that light, life, power, people will experience the love of God. And that's the ultimate point is because God is love. Now we're going to start working through this uh, word for uh, 2019. The word will prevail in 2019. 2019 is a John 10.10 10 year, a year of overflowing abundant increase. 2019 righteousness holiness increase and i think the next page we go here which is the let's see the word will prevail time is coming glory to god 2019 will be a year of noticeable increase 2019 will be a year of noticeable increase how really increased relationship with god and man Incre increased relationship of knowledge, our increased knowledge, increased understanding, increased wisdom. Hallelujah. But we're going we're gonna to start going through this word uh, as the year starts to progress. And so I'm just going to touch on some, a few things. And, and the Lord's going to show us scripture. And we're going to go through the scriptures and we're going to look at the promises. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and that's what we're here to do. Um, just as I started getting this ready to go, uh, suddenly I got hit with a uh, a migraine, and the migraines have changed into they'll show up and hit me in my eyes, ocular first, and then I get a uh, th then there'd be a, uh, a headache in my head. But you know what? God is good. Um, we overcome those things, and. Um, Looking at the fact that I'm going to read through these through through the challenge, Amen, <laughs> because it has no right to me. Glory to God, and uh, I've prayed and I will overcome. Glory to God. So the word will prevail in 2019. The word will prevail in 2019. Let's get some revelation about that. Let's get some revelation about that. Isaiah 55:11. Isaiah 55:11 So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it Praise God praise God I, I just lo downloaded a bunch of Bibles onto the eSword when, when I uh, updated my Toshiba, which is an older older computer. It's got an iCore uh, 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 processor and i3, um, but it's good for minor uh, internet things and using eSword, but I had lost eSword on it. when I, So I'm trying to re regain... Uh, my study stuff and even the the Strong's that's downloaded now is not the original Strong's that I had on there. So I'm looking at some definitions and going, "Hey, this this isn't this isn't the same." And oh, I don't like it when it's not the same. It's like when they they put out the new version of uh, uh, the Amplified Bible, and so I'm going to be purchasing the uh, the classic because I think the classic really benefits us a lot. Amen. Let me check out, I want to check out the New Living Translation. It is the same with my word. I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to. And it will prosper everywhere I send it. Praise God. Now, this is we're talking about the word of God. Let's look at something very interesting interesting about the Word of God. 
okay? This is Revelation. Now, I'm going to go back to the King James because I, I do, uh, I like the King James. I need to download the actual, see, I got the King James with the uh, Strong's numbers, which makes it a little harder to read straight up, but I'm going to download the actual, the King James without that. But let's read that again. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Glory to God. I'm going to turn up my my earphones. Uh, I'm just making sure uh, I have the mic placed different because I'm reading off of my other computer. So I'm trying to keep an eye on certain things. And uh, uh, bless God, I, I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you as I take this journey into uh, crafting the podcast um, and putting it up on YouTube and having the podcast, so forth and so on. Um, I just want to say thank you. We're going to learn stuff together as we take this journey together. And uh, it's just on my heart and uh, to bring you the Word of God. Amen. But let's take a look at what we just read. You know, um, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's go to John. The Gospel of John. Let's go to the Gospel of John. I just hit myself with the with the mic. I'm trying to get the best angle on, on the mic right here. Um, where it's going to pick me up. Maybe I need a little more gain. I'm getting a little bit of uh, extra sound in there, which I don't like. Um, but we'll see how Audacity works and, and uh, we can uh, clean it up a little bit, perhaps. Hallelujah. We will get this down. It will be professional. Glory to God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, Him who, the Word, and without Him, the Word, was not anything made that was made. Okay? In him was life. In him who? The Word. This Keep it in context. The Word. Amen. And what did we just read in Isaiah? The Word is sent. Right here, John starts off giving us the, the, the revelation of the Word being sent. Um, this is really important. If you're going to have the Word prevail in your life, we've got to understand that the Word is Jesus. And then... Did Jesus conquer everything? And did he complete everything that God sent him to do? Jesus the Son, Jesus the Word. Amen. I'm going to send Jesus, and he's going to accomplish everything that I sent him to do. His life is not going to be void. And every and the complete purpose of his life is going to take place, and he's coming back to me with the fullness of which I sent him there to do. The Word of God. The Word of God. Remember, so much when you go through Isaiah, Isaiah is so prophetic about Jesus. And then we get with John, and John's going, Hey, man, guess what? The Word that's being sent that, that's not going to be void and accomplishes everything that God pleases... That's Jesus. He is the Word. And He will come. See, John gave us... John, what's cool about John is he gave us this revelation of Jesus being the Word first. And then he gave us the revelation of Jesus the Son. He could have started this Gospel off in any manner, way, shape, or form, but he needed us to know... He needed us to know the... 
impact of us speaking the word of God, standing on the word of God, receiving the promises of the word of God, and then speaking the promises of the word of God, knowing that, that, that Jesus, the word, is the way, the truth, and the life, and that in him all things are possible. Why? Because we're operating and living in the power of his word. And praise God, we are sons within the Son. Glory to God. But what did he say? You know, you know, you know, our tongue, you know, it's the power of our tongue. It's it's it, it and we choose life through our words. We frame our lives through the things that we say. So it's better that we take the time to gain the, the statutes, the precepts, the concepts of the Word of God, so when we're speaking, we're speaking, I mean, we don't have to quote the Bible all the time, it's good to have certain scriptures, but if we're speaking and living in accordance to the concepts of the Word of God, then we're speaking the Word of God. It's not, we don't have to quote verse for verse, but if what we're saying is in line with the verses of what God has said about his promises, then, then God's going to honor that because that's, that, that's the abundance of our heart speaking in line with God. And we go back to Adam. Uh, he rebelled against the word of God. God wasn't in the garden. He took Satan's word over God's word and and went for the shortcut. You know, he, he got... <laughs> You know, and that's what everybody tries to do now is is blame everybody else because Adam then did that. So, well, it's that woman you gave me and tries to get away with the shortest way of trying to get it done even if it's the wrong way to do it. Um, so that's that's not God's way. So what we're doing is saying, okay, what is God's way? Well, let's get into the Word, see what God says on a certain thing, Let's believe what he says, and let's just start talking the way God talks. It's really that simple. He gives us our, his word on something. It doesn't return void. <laughs> Amen. And it accomplishes what he sends it to do. And we're now the mouthpiece here. We're the body of Jesus Christ, so we're the mouthpiece of his promises. And so we need to take them into our heart, and then, and then what is it when we take something to our heart man we build our hope hope is hope is that concrete confidence that gives us the expectation that when we move out on faith on his promises that when we move out on faith we are going to see our hope hope and faith are two sides of the same coin hope is on the inside faith is on the outside praise god uh, you know, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And so you got, you know, Jesus is our hope of glory that lives on the inside. And then it, we express that hope to the people around us through the gospel, through how we live, through how we touch lives. And, and that's our faith. They see faith. But what are they doing? They're actually experiencing the substance of our hope. Glory to God. But what are we doing? We're expressing the Word of God. And that's what I want to leave you with. Um, the Word will prevail in 2019. You need a Word from God, go to His promises. Um, this is a, a year of increase. There's a lot of Word. There's a lot of Jesus that talks about the increases of, of God's kingdom in this earth. Um, Increase in relationships, like we said. Increase of, of the gospel. Increase of of and even increase in finances. There's no wrong. There's there's nothing wrong with with believing God for increases in finances. You know, if we're living and walking the Word of God, then when finances come into into our hands, we're going to be available to use them to touch others with the gospel with the kindness, with the love, with the presentation, with the with the fruit of the Spirit, with the peace of God. We're, we're there to help and be a part of. And that's the purpose of having those finances, you know. Um, praise God. And when we have those increases, that's okay. That's a good thing because now that those, those uh, abundances are placed into the hands of good stewards 
that are able to uh, bring and touch people with uh, the life of God in His Word. And that's what we want to do, you know. Uh, you, you, it's, we have media, we have to pay. So things cost money, but, but increase isn't just that. Increase, what, the way I learned prosperity, it was what, first what spiritual. You need to be born again. You need to be born again. You cannot come to the Father unless you are born again. Glory to God. So, spirit, your soul. Once you're born again, you start learning the Word. Your, your mind, your will and emotions, how you think. Amen. Placing your will in line with God's will and, and walking down that road and having the emotions of, of, of peace, the emotion of joy, that, that, that place that, that, you know, the only emotion in, in the kingdom of God is joy. you got a calm delight about you. Hallelujah. There's no tears. There's no sorrow. Amen. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an emotion of joy. And we can live that in this realm of existence right now, as the apostle Paul said, as he's getting, uh, as he was jailed in in, uh, in, in the book of Philippians, um, you know, terrible times in the physical realm. But what did he say? Rejoice again! I say rejoice. So let's let's rejoice. Hallelujah! Let's rejoice in the Word. Let's understand that when we became part of Jesus, the Son of God, we became. Uh, the Word of God manifested to this world. So let's let's get into the Word of God. Let's have the Word of Love prevail in our lives because in that case, the Word of Love is going to touch other people's lives and bring them into the Kingdom of Love, the Kingdom of the Word of God, the Kingdom of the Son of God. And let's just do that because we know that God's Word prevails in our life and will touch others in the name of Jesus. I love you. God loves you. And we'll get together again next week.